Hi, I'm Jackie M and I'm a Malaysian cook based here in Sydney, Australia. And I also happen to be good friends with Dave Budfield, which is very handy because Dave likes to fish and I like to cook. As you would have seen earlier in the show, he's had a very productive morning catching some blackfish and he's also very kindly dropped some off for me as well. So I'm going to show you uh, how I would prepare it in a hurry because I like to keep things quick and simple, okay? I'm just going to turn on this pan quickly while I continue talking. What I'm going to do with this fish now, being Malaysian, we tend to like to keep our fish looking like fish. So I'm not going to try and fillet this, I'm going to cook this whole. And I've just managed to pull out a couple of ingredients from my fridge and from my pantry. I've got some curry leaves, very popular uh, in Malaysian curries. I've also got, got some kaffir lime leaves. These will give a very nice tangy zest to your finished product. And I've just got some Versailles chili. And I've got a prepared curry paste mixture. This is a Malaysian product. You can pick them up over at your local Asian grocery store, really. And I've just got some coconut cream over here. Now with the fish, I'm just going to add some oil to this pan that I've just started heating up. You don't need to use too much oil. But with the fish, I'm just going to rub a little bit of salt on it and also rub it with a little bit of... This is tapioca starch. You can use cornstarch. They essentially do the same thing. I use tapioca starch because it's quite common in Asian uh, pantries, really. Okay, so let's just put this on start cooking. So I'm using portable stoves here for a reason because in case you're outdoor camping you can see how you can put all this together very very quickly. Now I'm just heating up this wok here and to that I'm going to add the curry paste, some water and about 200 ml of coconut cream, which is about a 1 to 2 ratio of coconut cream to water. And with the paste, I've got about 200 grams of curry paste in there as well. But you can play around and adjust the amount that you use, so don't worry too much about measuring everything. In Malaysia, we have this concept of anga anga which means guesswork, essentially. And that applies to a lot of how we do our cooking. It's not an exact science and we appreciate that. So you, there's always an element of tasting, testing, and adjusting flavors. I'm just gonna toss in the curry leaves now and the cacao lime leaves as well. And with this fish here, what I might do is actually just cut some slashes. Now just keep in mind that the fish is going to continue cooking a little bit after you remove it from the pan, so you don't want to cook it till it's completely cooked through. Because this saucepan is at, this pan is actually a little bit small for the fish, I might actually just try and cover it just to help it cook along a little bit better and the steam that it creates within the pan is just going to help give it an even distribution of heat as well. Let's just taste this curry sauce. It's not bad actually. Okay, now the sauce is done. That's all it takes, as you can see, just literally a couple of minutes. And I'm just going to throw in some chilli because I like my chilli but you can leave, leave this out obviously if you like a, your curry chilli milder. Okay, I think we're done. I'm just going to turn this off. I'm just going to leave the lid on this pan for a little bit longer and then I'll serve it up, pour the curry sauce over it and show you what it looks like at the end. Okay, so this fish has cooked for about four or five minutes I would say and just a couple of minutes on the sauce. I'm just going to serve it up now. and pour the sauce over it. So you can see how very, very quickly and easily you can put something like this together. And it's going to taste beautiful as well. So what I've done, as you can see, just within four or five minutes is just dusted the fish with a little bit of tapioca flour, 
pan fried it and at the same time I've just heated through some curry sauce made with a prepared curry mix with uh, some extra uh, herbs added into the mix just to make it a little bit more interesting and uh, if you need the actual recipe or you want to find out more about the other things that I do just visit my website which is uh, jackiem.com.au but in the meantime why don't we get back to Dave and see what he's up to now <laughs>